unexplored Sarlacc pit cave discovered in Canada. It may sometimes seem as though we have explored, discovered and mapped out almost every element of the Earth. The fact remains that we aren't sure just how much of our world lies hidden and unknown, and surprising revelations are made on the planet every day. One such discovery occurred in Canada when officials conducting an aerial caribou count over alpine lands in a national park in western Canada happened to notice the gaping mouth of a massive cavern as they flew overhead by helicopter. After initial investigation and analysis, it appears that the cave, which is breathtaking in its enormity, may have never been seen or explored by humans before, making the impressive entity a nationally significant find, according to John Pollock, an archaeological surveyor who was impressed with his recent visit to the site. He continued with his recollection of the site to Canadian Geographic by saying, I've been in some of the biggest caves in the world, and this thing has an entrance that is truly immense, and not just by Canadian standards. When you're standing on the edge looking down into it, your line of sight is nearly 600 feet. And although you can see up to 600 feet, it has not yet been determined exactly how deep this incredible cave extends. A climbing team intent on discovering the true depths of the cavern, which has an opening that measures 100 meters by 60 meters, was only able to descend approximately 80 meters before their path was obstructed by an underground river that flowed through the depths of the mysteriously large cave. Upon further inspection, experts estimate that the cave extends down with the river for over 2 kilometers before emerging 500 meters lower. If this is true, this cave would be one of the biggest in Canada. Even more fascinating is the fact that experts believe that this cave, which was nicknamed Sarlacc's Pit after the Star Wars creature living in a similar abode, has likely remained hidden for most if not all of its existence, making those first explorers likely the first humans to have ever set foot inside of the cave. Experts studying the features and its location believe that it likely was covered in snow and hidden for thousands of years, possibly only being revealed as distant as the late 1990s, as rising temperatures as a result of global warming in the area caused widespread snowmelt. But how did such a massive shaft come to exist in the first place? It seems that melting ice from nearby glaciers likely carved the gigantic rift into the Earth over the course of millions of years, meaning that during certain times of the year, the underground river is likely bursting with icy water carried from upstream snowmelts, a phenomenon that suggests possibly as much as 15 cubic meters per second of water rushing over the cave's edge. The exact location of the cave has been kept secret to preserve its natural beauty and any historic secrets that it might be keeping. It seems that even if its location were known, exploration of it would not be for the faint of heart. Pollock did reveal that this cave is truly in the middle of nowhere. It's out there in mountainous terrain, surrounded by glaciers and at the bottom of a 45-degree avalanche slope that rises 2,000 to 2,500 feet above it, meaning you can't go into it in winter. This is a wild place. But all the best discoveries are made in the wildest places, and this cave appears to be amongst the wildest of them all. Pope Francis says consumers today are too greedy. As thousands herded together to attend the Pope's Christmas Mass of 2018, marking the sixth Christmas of his papacy, the Pope warned his audience, St. Peter's Basilica, that an insatiable greed marks all human history, and that too many struggle to survive on the bare minimum, while a handful dine luxuriously at their expense. He went on to recount how Jesus himself had only been born in a stable, with no luxury, just poverty and therefore suggested we take some time at Christmas while remembering Christ's birth to also reflect on the real meaning of life. He delivered his message about excessive consumerist habits, urging us to lessen our materialistic ways to the almost 10,000 pilgrims who had traveled from across the world to gather in Bethlehem ahead of Christmas Eve. It was a symbolic message from a renowned figure topped off by being in such a religiously loaded location and reminds us of our duties to one another to treat others as we wish to be treated ourselves. By being too greedy and money-driven, the Pope urged those listening to his Mass to focus on happiness from ourselves, rather than just capitalistic materialistic goods. Today, in 2021, 
we thought it fitting to reflect upon whether the Pope was correct in his announcement and whether we are doing enough to rectify the path our society is headed in. Beyond the greed and gluttony the Pope spoke of, while the Vatican and Rome more generally saw increased security, his message also spoke of how new extremist groups spring up and target churches, places of worship, ministers and members of the faithful, aligned with how other Christian leaders worldwide were marking Christmas as a happier time after so much violence against fellow worshippers. It is becoming clear that defending the poor has become a hallmark of the Pope's papacy, as the Vatican also announced that they had given Rome a new homeless clinic where they could receive free medical care as a gift. With over 16,000 homeless in Rome and with many increasingly congregating near the Vatican, the Pope's pleas to us to think about others and to live simpler lives makes complete sense. A new discovery in Bulgaria has brought to light findings of the oldest known directly dated human remains. Up until now, ancient human fossils have been found across Europe, estimated to be between 41,000 and 45,000 years old. No small feat in itself. However, dates so far have only been estimated by using surrounding layers of rock and sediment from the fossil finds. In this new discovery, the fossils themselves have been dated and they are more than 40,000 years old too. In fact, carbon dating techniques have consistently suggested that these particular fossils could be between 44,000 and 46,000 years old. The exact findings from the Bako Cairo cave of Bulgaria are a tooth and six bone fragments. This region, near the Balkan mountains, has long been known for being richly packed with fossil remains and it is not the first time it has been excavated. During the 1970s, the human fragments found at the time were later lost, it has now emerged. Nonetheless, the determined ages of these new finds, now more accurate than ever before, support pre-existing theories that our ancestors moved from Africa through to the Middle East about 50,000 years ago, and then across to Europe and Central Asia. Not only this, but they are now also the earliest known evidence of the Homo sapiens' presence in Europe. The discovery is even more remarkable upon further investigation. The team who found the human remains were at first only able to identify the human tooth. Jean-Jacques Hublin of the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology and leader of the research team adds that the bones were too fragmented to initially make out with the naked eye and instead protein extraction methods had to be used for them to conclude that the pieces were of humankind. Older human remains have perhaps been found in Europe. There are debates in the archaeological community as to the veracity of claims that a 210,000-year-old skull fragment has been dug up in Greece, only a year before the Bulgarian finds. If true, this significantly outdated any previous finds and wreaks havoc on theories of human exploration and travel. Many scientists do not quite believe that the finds are human. Instead, some think it's more likely that the skull is from a Neanderthal, the species who inhabited the continent of Europe before us Homo sapiens. There is more to discover, both in this region and many other sites in Europe we have not yet found. Only time will tell which theories are correct and when human life emerged in Europe for sure. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.